The next thing I'd like to show you inside the multi-controller component are action mappings. Previously found in uh, a no number of components in Hippotizer version 3, again, all part of the multi-controller component in Hippotizer v4. And action mappings give you a range of different options. Uh, the ability to uh, request a media manager operation, such as enabling or disabling watch folders, recalling presets from the preset manager, sending TCP data, which would have previously done using the FAT controller component in Hippotizer version 3, uh, system operation, which allows you to shut the system down completely, um, to switch off the software, uh, and also to restart the system. And finally, accessing of the timelines within the timeline component. Uh, I'm going to go for preset operation in this example. Uh, I want to recall some presets, and you'll be able to see those here on my visualizer window on the right-hand side. So I select a new preset operation, go in, choose the target host, i.e. the engine, the server I want to control, choose whether I want a layer or mix preset. I know this happens to be a layer preset for layer one, and I happen to know that the preset index is the first one in the list. I can, of course, use the learn mapping function again, really, really handy to be able to go in and learn that mapping like so. Um, and because a lot of this information is going to stay the same for my second example, I, instead of restarting, uh, building this from scratch, I can duplicate the action, remove the mapping itself, set the second preset that I want to recall, and then simply learn that onto my second button. So now we have two preset mappings to recall two different presets. And as I switch between these, you will see those recalling onto my visualizer preview pin.